Well, good afternoon. I'm glad to see you again today. Got a couple of things to talk about. One of them involves pecan pie. We was down at the bar last night and we was reminiscing on a disaster that happened a year ago and it involved pecan pie. You know, pecan pie is wonderful stuff and we all agreed about a year ago that we wanted to talk about it. And so in the conversation, it came up about who had the best pecan pie. Well, I knew the answer to that because I got a recipe in my great, great grandma's Bible from 1850. And one fellow said, how do you know that? I said, it's in the family Bible. Everybody got real quiet because they respect family Bibles. They're like legal documents as far as we's concerned. So we went discussing the recipes and everybody had one. Everybody had a pecan pie recipe and it's all a little bit different. So we agreed the next week we was all going to bake a pecan pie and bring it in there. We was going to have a taste test with pecan pie and beer. Well, the next week came and we all set our pies down and we made a mistake. Nobody numbered them. I knew where mine was. It was the very first one there on the bar. And people started eating slices of pie and drinking beer and eating some more pie and drinking more beer. And then after we'd eaten most of the pies, we got into discussion about which one was the best one. I kept quiet. But this one big feller, it was Jimmy Jim. He said the best pecan pie was his. If anybody wanted to say different, they was going to hurt him. Well, this other fella pointed down to the pie at the end where I'd had mine and said, that's the best one. He said, I'm going to have to fight you about that because that's my grandma's pie. And I don't know who that one belongs to, but it ain't as good as my grandma's. This other feller said, well, my mama's pie is better than that. She baked this special, and I tasted yours. Nowhere near as good. It would have been okay, except they probably had three, four, five, six, seven beers by this time. And it was getting on later in the evening, and some people are cantankerous. And Jimmy Jim started beating up on James, and James started beating up on Jim. And they were so drunk, they was throwing punches that weren't landing except... James got a good one in Jimmy Jim's bread basket with a lot of enthusiasm, and he started a pew spewing pecan pie and beer. Well, it wasn't really pecan pie anymore. It was partially digested pecan pie and beer puke, which is, if you've ever smelled it, you can never forget it. It's one of those things that it just don't smell. Nobody's ever going to make a perfume called beer puke. They just ain't going to do it. So a fight commenced then over the pecan pie and it was smelly, and it was a disgusting mess. And Ms. Caswell, her son owns the bar, but she comes in every now and then to check on things. And something told her it wasn't going to go well that night when we was a tasting pecan pie. She had a bad feeling about it. So she shows up and yells and said, lady can yell. Let me tell you that right now. She has won more than one or two pig hollering contests at the county fair. So she's a yelling and Jimmy, Jim, and James ain't paying no attention whatsoever. So she goes back behind the bar. I was afraid she's going to get out a shotgun. She ain't got a shotgun back there. She's got something better. She's got an, an old industrial mop, you know, the one with a huge head on it and them long strings. And she has a mop bucket there that she had hot soapy water in. And she commenced to slap them upside the head and knocked them both down and knocked some sense into them and said none of us was ever allowed back in the bar if we didn't kill, clean up all the beer puke and partially digested pecan pie. And we was never to mention pecan pie in that bar ever again. And we felt powerful, sorry about it, but we all started clearing up beer puke and pecan pie and fixing tables back up. And there was a couple of chairs that got broke, so we had to pay for those. And it was a mess and we got all cleaned up. And she sniffed the air and said, okay, y'all can leave and come back next week but don't y'all talk about any more bake-offs in my bar ever again. So it was tragic, by the way, my, my great-grandma's. Great-great-grandma's pecan pie was the best one. A couple of fellers told me that later. But I, of all the things you can talk about in a bar that might lead to a fight, I never would have guessed pecan pie was one of them. Would you? If you enjoy what I'm doing, my dog and I would like you to subscribe. And we hope y'all having a wonderful day. Bye.